In my last video, I showed you how to generate unlimited images for free using one of the best text-to-image models, Flux, and even transform them into cinematic videos. But many of you asked two key questions. First, Google Colab is slow. How can we overcome this limitation? Second, how can we create consistent characters for our projects? Today, I'll introduce you to some game-changing tools that not only solve these problems, but also allow you to create stunning images, fast and completely free. As a bonus, I'll show you how to transform these images into jaw-dropping cinematic and custom style videos. Take a look at some of the incredible images I've generated and watch as they come to life in amazing videos. This image generation tool doesn't just create stunning visuals, it also helps you craft perfect prompts effortlessly. Plus, I'll share an option that makes it simple to create consistent characters in any style, ensuring your projects look professional and cohesive. While this option for creating consistent characters is free, it does come with daily limits. But don't worry. I'm already working on another video where I'll show you how to use Comfy UI to generate unlimited consistent characters locally. The image generation portal we'll use to craft prompts and generate unlimited images is Mistral AI. I've also included the link in the video description. Okay, so let me first open the website using the URL I have men mentioned. So if in your case, it will ask you to uh, sign in first. So you can sign in using your Gmail or Microsoft ID. I already have signed. After sign in, you will get the screen like this. If you have used ChatGPT, it, the interface looks kind of similar to that because this is also the ChatGPT that allows us to generate images and the same tool we are going to use for generating different prompts. Okay, so let's start with the image generation and for that, I'll click on this image generation icon and I'll try with a simple um, prompt that a wizard doing a spell in a jungle and let's I can press enter or click on this um, icon so I'll press enter and it will start as you can see it is generating an image so let's wait for that image to, to generate it will take a couple of seconds okay and as you can see uh, this it has generated an awesome image right and you can click on this icon and download this one as well right so this is the image it generated and really it really looks awesome right okay so let's try another one I'll just try a image of a beautiful woman in disney pixar style and again i'll click enter and as you can see it is saying generating an image and look how awesome it is right uh, the quality of this image the contrast everything looks amazing right and you can generate unlimited images um, using this portal so right now, as I mentioned, uh, this is free as of uh, now, but maybe in the future, they will start charging some dollars uh, that I'm not sure. But yeah, right now it is completely free. Okay, so now let's see how we can utilize this tool to generate uh, prompts. Okay, so for that, I'll just click on this plus icon. That is a new chat. And then I'll just uh, remove this one, make sure that nothing is selected. And I'll enter. Could you please give me a simple prompt to generate an image of a wizard let me try the same one doing the spell let's see what it gives okay so as you can see this is the prompt it has given okay so let's try this one so for that again i'll go to new chat and i'll select image generation and then i'll enter the prompt that it gave and i'll print it and it has started generating the image let's wait for this to be generated and it looks awesome as you can see the image that we have generated using this prompt looks much better than what we generated initially using a simple prompt because whenever ask, we ask this tool to generate the, to give us the prompt it adds some additional details right so for example you can see why is old wizard then uh, mystical forest all these things it already added to make this image much better so it provides some additional details right so same way if you want to have some image generated you can utilize the same tool if you already have the prompt available that's fine go ahead and generate the image but if, if you think that you need some guidance or suggestion then you can utilize this tool and it will help you to give you the better prompt based on whatever you want to generate and then you can utilize that particular prompt to generate the images so try it at your end and let me know in the comment section how it worked at your end and if in case you face any challenge or issues at your end for generating consistent characters i'll show you two options that way if you hit the daily usage limit on one you can easily switch to the second okay so let me open the url so we are going to use um, hugging face space for generating the image 
this is the space that has been developed by uh, this person and obviously all credit goes to this person and it is using purely for flux and allows us to generate multiple uh, consistent characters right based on the reference images so for most of the settings if you want to change width height then you can change it based on your need if you want to have 16 is to 9 or 9 to 16 image you can accordingly change it i would suggest me, uh, keep everything same while you generate the uh, you know consistent character so let's get started i'll first select an image uh, maybe i'll select this one and then i will say um superhero girl okay uh, i'll not change anything i'll click on uh, this generate button all right and let's wait maybe it will um, take some time it will take around 20 to 30 seconds to generate so let's wait for that uh, to complete and as you can see a beautiful image has been generated right and it looks exactly same as the reference image right so um, it looks really good so i can download using this download button and you can see the image and this is the main image and this is the reference image i had right let's try another one uh, a realistic uh, photo of a beautiful girl inside a forest let me try this one and let's see what it gives i'll click on generate again it will take some time uh, so let's wait for uh, this processing to complete okay and see the quality of the image it generated right it looks awesome isn't it and the face you can see you cannot uh, tell that this uh, these two are exactly the same uh, images right so accordingly you can change the uh, prompt and also use this uh, generate multiple uh, you know consistent characters okay these are some of the references uh, uh, if you want to take some um, you know guidance on the prompt you can also look at it so here are some of the uh, you know, um, examples uh, given. So let me try one uh, more with my image. So I'll just uh, upload my image and I will say um, oven holding sign glowing yellow and red text and I'll say welcome. Okay. And then I'll click on generate. and see the image quality generated right it looks amazing correct the image uh, characteristic i mean face is same and then i look at the image quality contrast color combination lighting everything looks amazing right and you can download from here and then you can look at the image what it generated right and this is really very really good okay so this is how you can use our first option and obviously as i mentioned there is some limit after some time it will stop generating the image for you uh, for that i'm going to share another option that also allows you to generate the consistent character so let me show that option to you again this is the another one again generated by the same person and all credit goes to this person this image doesn't only create the consistent character but also uh, kind of uh, you know allows you to merge multiple images so if you want to have two images merged together you can also do that i'll show it just as a reference just for uh, creating the consistent character i'll select the same image and then maybe i'll give a prompt that uh, um, portrait and then comic character okay and let me oh, sorry click on generate and again it has started generating and see see the images that is generated it has generated four options and everything looks amazing right this looks like a comic character isn't it so you can utilize this call that allows you to give uh, multiple options let me try one more i'll just uh, i'll just give uh, portrait and then maybe sticker art so let's see what kind of image it generates i'll click on generate again and here it is like it it, it is an amazing tool right so you can see it, the images looks like sticker now so whatever reference image you have you can create a number of characters consistent character using this image based on the prompt based on the style you want okay so again for this one try at your end i am again reiterating these options are available but not for the big projects because after certain generation it will stop 
uh, working for you and you'll have to wait for another day next day to to you know generate the remaining images so uh, i'm working on another option that is comfy comfy ui using which you can generate the similar kind of images locally so wait for my next image but uh, till that time you can uh, try and you know play around with these options here are some additional videos i've generated using Kling. it's a paid tool but there's currently an offer where you can get it for just four dollars a month and just to clarify this is not a sponsored video now let me show you how it works so the website name is klingai.com so once you uh, go to this website it will ask you to log in so once you log in you will get some free credit and you also get some daily free credit that you can use for generating uh, different videos so let me quickly show you how how to do that so for that you just go to ai videos and these are some of the uh, videos that i have generated let me show you so for example uh, this one right so i just have added holding sign right i just uploaded the image I have made a holding sign and click on generate and they look at the image that look at the video that it has generated right similarly this one right this one uh, is the one when i pass this particular image i didn't give anything right even it automatically uh, uh, figured out that what kind of image it is and what kind of video it should be generated so this is a kind of awesome uh, video it has, it has generated right and similarly i already have shown different videos that i have generated using this method so either you can give some prompt a uh, kind of short prompt and then or you can sometimes leave it um, blank so that uh, Kling automatically finds out that what kind of video it needs to generate and most of the time it generates perfect video okay so try it out let me know how it works for you and if you face any issue challenge just let me know in the comment sec section thank you